What's up, Cracker Nation? It is the girl, Princess Galaxy. That's me. My hands are so white compared to my skin. Well, I mean, my skin. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty pale black person, I have to say. But you know what? That's not what this video is about. I'm getting so sidetracked. So today, I'm going to be telling you guys about my Super M tour journey. A few weeks ago, I came out with a video talking about how I'm going to be following Super M on tour. I'm going to go to every single stop. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys um about the amazingness and the first leg of the tour because that's in looking at my pale wrist five days so i'm gonna be leaving out to fort worth from chicago's airport one of the two i think it's midway i don't know and i'm gonna be heading out from there and i'm gonna be recording everything and vlogging everything also i'm going to not only be vlogging but also blogging like with a b yeah because i don't know why but i really felt the nudge to write about my experiences like while they're happening two things first first i want to ask you to just follow me on instagram because i'll be posting a lot of like more relevant things on my story and everything um so that you guys can just keep track of that and secondly is to hello mom doing on yes and <laughs> So the second thing I want to ask you guys, I wanted to know when do you want me to upload the videos? Do you think I should upload the videos by city? Should I upload them by like first few days, like the first two tour dates and then like the last three? Like, what do you think? Um, here are the dates. Just let me know your thoughts and what you guys would want, like think it's better. Cause I kind of wanted to make an individual video for like every spot, like every tour stop. Or like an individual vlog for every tour spot but i feel like that's kind of a lot you know i feel like or maybe i should just make one long video and come out with it next friday because the tour ends on the i believe 19th so i'll have time to do it but it'll be kind of like a lot so that's why i'm just asking i want to let you guys know that that's what's going to be going on but i want to get into the video and just talk about my plans with everything so Let's get started. So the first city I'm going to is Fort Worth, Texas. Ooh, I've never been to any of these places. So I'm just so excited. Um, I know a few people that have actually lived in Texas and they said I shouldn't have any problems. Like everyone seems to be pretty friendly. So that's really fun. Um, I call it the home of the Yeehaw. And like, wasn't the Alamo in Texas? Like, I'm pretty sure the Alamo, like hashtag remember the Alamo. Or is that offensive because people died? I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, I'm just, I'm shit at like history. <laughs> so even though it's November, I have no idea how cold it's going to be in Texas. So uh, I'll just look at the weather and everything. I will pack accordingly, which I'll also have on my stories and everything while I'm packing. Also I'm on my period, so hopefully it'll be done by the time like the tour starts, because it started like two or three days ago. My peers are very unpredictable, so I'm a little scared. So I'm gonna be flying into Texas on the 10th, spending the day in Fort Worth, and then leaving out on the 12th. So I'll get there by, like I said, Southwest flight, round trip from Chicago to Dallas, because the next tour date is in Chicago. And coincidentally, I am coming from Chicago, so saving money, <laughs> low key. So um, I actually, where I will stay, where will I stay? You're probably wondering. Um, literally a few hours before I filmed this, I had no idea, but I found a really good hotel that I um, have actually been to. It was in Chicago, not Fort Worth, obviously, because I've never been to Fort Worth. Um, and it's $70 a night, so really excited. Came in clutch, <laughs> so. Um, and it's a nice hotel. But when, like for, when I saw Blackpink in Chicago, I got like a hotel by the arena and it's the same chain. And they said like free breakfast, but it was just like stale cliff bars and shitty coffee. So, I mean, at least the people were nice, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. And do I have a ticket for Fort Worth? No, I do not have a ticket for any of the dates. So I'm not even gonna pretend like I do. The only tour date that I'm actually looking for a VIP on this leg is Washington DC and I will explain to you why very soon. But yeah, so my plan for all the tickets is to basically like buy them from people or buy them off of StubHub as I go because I've always had really good experience with buying tickets the day of. If you guys have heard my famous um, BTS story, 
um, the second day for the Speak Yourselves tour in Chicago, I was able to get two floor seats in a section A1 for like $130 each. So after that, I was just like, I'm protected all the time. And I did that for Lollapalooza too, now that I think about it. I bought like a ticket the day of, and I bought like a day pass for like $100, and I had like a VIP thing. StubHub, sponsor me, girl. So, <laughs> so um, Princess Galaxy X StubHub collab is coming 2020. <laughs> So the next stop is Chicago, my favorite city and the only um, out of the big three cities, LA, New York, and Chicago in America that I've actually been to. And I'm actually planning on moving to Chicago next year, so like, <laughs> that's dope. So even though I've been to a handful of concerts in Chi-Town, I've never actually um, gone to the United Center, so that's hella exciting. So the how will I get there is basically, I have a round trip flight, like I said, from Texas back to Chicago. So we doing that, we on that Southwest Airlines uh, energy. <laughs> I have no clue where I'm going to stay in Chicago. So you will see me um, going through that. I'm thinking of either getting a cheap hotel nearby because I have really good experiences with hotels and I'm considering doing an Airbnb also because I've only done Airbnb once and it was last year with my ex-boyfriend and it went really well. I didn't have I didn't have any like bad experiences. The, our Airbnb did kind of smell like shit though, but like it, it was a nice place, you know what I mean? So hey, I wasn't mad, good part of town. It was lit. And no, I do not have a ticket, so please don't ask. <laughs> the next day is November 15th in Atlanta, Georgia at Infinite Energy Center. So I actually got another flight, thank God, from Chicago to Atlanta, Georgia. And I will be staying with one of my family members, one of my aunts from like my aunt, like she's in my extended family, but she's my aunt because my granddad had other children. And so by another one, so I don't know what that means. Step aunt, maybe, I, I don't know. And so actually my dad lives there, um, but I'm not gonna visit him. I don't even know if he's, he lives there anymore, so <laughs> whatever. So I still don't have a ticket for um, Atlanta. So if you wanna help a girl out, uh, DM me on Insta, leave a comment. Call me, <laughs> something, I don't care. So the next stop is Washington DC, the capital of the Americana. So I actually don't have the energy to make a Trump joke right now, so I'm not going to because we don't stand. But I'm actually really excited to go to DC because I want, I've want i always wanted to visit the African American Museum. Well, I say, I say I've always wanted to, but I've literally just heard about it like, like a year or two ago. So I kind of feel it's my obligation as an African American black person to visit every time I'm in DC, which has been never until next week. So I'm so excited. And I actually have a cousin who I'm staying with who is a journalist and a professor at a very prestigious university, <laughs> prestigious. And so I'm really excited to finally like see her. I haven't seen her since I graduated high school and she's like one of my like huge role models. She's so amazing and you guys are going to love her if she allows me to have her on camera. <laughs> and like I said, I don't have a ticket for any of these stops yet. But if I did have to get a VIP or if someone wants to give me a VIP ticket, it would be for Washington DC because I'll be there for like a day or two and it'll just be really nice. So the final place on my roster is New York. I'm so excited for New York. I've heard it's so overrated, guys. I know, I know New York is so overrated, but like I'm from butt fuck nowhere, Michigan, okay? I like, when people think of like, right, last big city, we always shit on like, uh, like big city people, but I like big cities. I like Chicago and even though New York's like a little different, I heard people in New York are like really fucking mean but I'm still hype as fuck to go. And I'm planning on actually going to the Starbucks ro Rotary. I think that's what, Reserve or whatever. It's like a two or three story building of just like Starbucks shit and like coffee. I'm like fangirling already because like me and Starbucks, like we have like that connection, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what's his name? Howard Schultz, like Howard Schultz Opa, like hit me up, let's collab. And, <laughs> and I don't know where Times Square is. I actually think Madison Square Garden is near Times Square. I was looking on the map and I'm excited to get advertised to. Also, there's a lot of cool shit in New York. 
Also, I have to go to the new three-story McDonald's. I'm so excited. If you guys don't know on the channel, I fucking love McDonald's because I am a American, <laughs> okay? I love McDonald's so fucking much. And I'm just so, my hair looks so like unbalanced. Like what is going on here, sis? What's the tea, girl? What's good, Korea? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I am so excited. Um, for New York City. I'm really excited for Fort Worth too because I'm just excited to, to like hear people act, hear people, hear people's accents. Honestly, I, I don't think they're gonna have accents because it's like 2020. So I don't think people have accents like that like they did like in the Westerns and all that shit. But um, I'm just gonna pretend. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like why not? Like, who cares? Like I'm gonna be like, hey y'all, I have a reservation y'all. And they're gonna be like, we're gonna have to ask you to leave and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna have anywhere to stay. <laughs> so that is a that on that. I still, I don't have a flight home currently from New York. So I guess I'll just stay in New York forever. No, um, no, I'd rather stay in Chicago forever, but I will be getting that as well. So that is that on that. Holy shit, guys. I am so excited for everything to fall into place. It's gonna be amazing. I am so blessed and so woke and so honored that you guys, like 300 people watched that video. Like I, that video got 300 views, like that last Super M video I made about like me going on tour. Like people were like, wow, like, okay. That, like, that makes me feel really good. And also, um, I we have 390 crackheads, like those right to the channel. Like guys, we are growing so fucking fast. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for like watching the channel, subscribing, liking, like commenting. Like you guys do not understand like how much you mean to me. And I don't say that in like a cheesy YouTuber way, <laughs> but honestly, it just means so much that you guys care about, you know, like me going on this adventure and this journey and just giving me so much good positive energy. It just feels so good. I can just feel it. And every single time I get a new subscriber, I always send blessings to you. I always give you good energy. I'm always like, thank you so much. Um, Chanyeol fuck me 69. I give you so much good energy and I love you. I hope you enjoy every single video I put on the channel. And I do that. I basically um, energy shield you all. So I hope you guys feel that love. <laughs> this is going to be an iconic trip and I cannot wait to vlog it all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be putting all the links in the description. I'll be, if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to help in any way, PayPal, DM me for, you know, like help me with tickets or if you see any good deals for hotels, anything. If you, anything, if you feel inspired to do anything, just let me know. And I just, I'm so excited. I cannot, I never traveled this much in a short time. I've only been on a plane twice. Like the first time was when I was in Jamaica like going to Jamaica and I was like screaming and I had like a panic attack on the plane. But like, it was fun though, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And remember, no one will love you like you love yourself. Keep dropping.